note to financial statement. Now, there are basically five statements in the set of annual financial statement an entity is to put together. So we have the statement of profit and loss, otherwise known as the income statement. We have the statement of financial position, also known as the balance sheet. Then we have the cash flow statement, the statement of changes in equity. Then lastly, the note to the financial statement. There are tutorials aptly covering the first four. So in this episode, we will be discussing the notes to the financial statement. The notes to the financial statement are one supplementary information that are included in the published financial statement of a company that is giving details to the figures in the main financial statement two they explain the accounting policies adopted by the business by explaining the assumptions used in preparing the numbers in the main financial statement financial auditors use the notes to determine if the accounting policies used are properly applied and are reflected in the reported results of the company. Thirdly, it carries the necessary disclosures to the accounting standards used. For example, disclosing the existence of a related party transactions in the course of the financial year. Then lastly, they offer varying assistance to different types of users. For example, investors will be interested in investor ratios. Shareholders will be interested also in gearing ratios suppliers will be interested in liquidity ratios and what have you okay now the following are some of the financial statement notes that are commonly used the first we're going to look at is the basis of presentation here the notes explain the basis of preparing and presenting the key financial statement that is the income statement the statement of financial position the cash flow statement and the statement of change in equity so it states the set of standards the account has been prepared complying to for example if it is prepared in conformity to ifrs it's that so so those in the us will state whether it is prepared in compliance with the generally accepted accounting principle that is the cap okay so it has to state if the financial statement were prepared also on cash or accrual basis or historical cost conventions so normally when you pick the audited financial statement you will see this in there okay secondly we have the accounting policies so the accounting policies adopted by the management in the preparation of the financial statement are supposed to be disclosed here so this disclosure assists users to make better interpretation of the financial statement the policies may include depreciation valuation of inventories accounting for intangibles etc thirdly property plant and equipment so here all machinery furniture fittings computers equipment are detailed here the policies use whether cost or revaluation model to present them in a financial statement and the activities during the year be it additional purchases or sale of this asset are also to be captured here so the accumulated depreciation for each category of asset and its resulting net book value should also feature we may also have depreciation of assets so here the method of depreciation adopted whether straight line or reducing balance method and the rates for the assets are also to be noted here so if you have furniture being depreciated at 20 percent per annum you state it if you have machinery equipment going for 30 percent that is also supposed to be stated here now depreciation can cause significant difference in the net income of a business especially when making comparative analysis between entity so if one entity in the same industry is using a reducing balance and the other using the straight line method the amount will differ which will affect the income statement preparation further affecting the profit this information will assist users in making level analysis especially when comparing assets to previous years and to competitors different methods and or rates may distort the interpretation the next is valuation of inventory this informs users of how the company value its inventory the section provides information on two main inventory issues one how inventory amount is stated whether at original cost or net realizable value and possible losses incurred which will be recorded in the income statement and secondly the method used to determine the inventory cost now there are three main methods that are acceptable 
Now the first being the unit cost, which is the actual cost of the product. The second acceptable method being the weighted average cost. And the last is first in first out method. The next is subsequent event. These transactions occur after the balance sheet date, but before the approval of the financial statement. There are two types of subsequent events here. We have the adjusting event. This must be adjusted before the financial statement will be approved for distribution to the users. A note may be presented to highlight such occurrence. The non-adjusting events, however, are events that are supposed to be captured in the notes or disclosed if they are material. The seventh, we have intangible assets. So if a business has any non-physical assets, there must be a session in the notes detailing the various assets owned and their valuation. Any impairments necessary will also have to be captured in the income statement. Eight, consolidation of financial statements. This section confirms that the statement being issued contains financial statements of all of the other subsidiaries or associates and how it accounts for them. Any liability that its occurrence hinges on the outcome of an uncertain future event is to be disclosed here, depending on the likelihood of the happening. So if it is probable or possible, it must be disclosed. Disclosing the contingent liabilities enable users to be informed of a potential loss in the future if the impending event materializes. Then you may have foreign currency. So this session is necessary. If the business has other currencies, it trades in aside its presentational one. So the presentational one is the one that is used in preparing the financial statement. The note must review such and state that it was converted at an appropriate rate recorded in the financial statement. This will also enable users to be abreast of potential risk should they encounter any fluctuations in exchange rates. 11. Receivables So the various components making the sum of the receivables recorded in the statement of financial position in the current asset column will be listed here. So this will include trade receivables, which is essential in estimating receivable collection period. We might have staff and other receivables. Twelfth is cash a cash equivalent. So you might find it captured as cash and bank in some financial statement, but it details the breakdown to the short term funds held by the business. This might include amount kept in the bank with the naming of the banking institution. Those held in hand and any short term investment will also be captured here. Non-current liabilities. This arena will provide all long-term obligations to the business with all the terms clearly spelled out. So if it has a loan, the period of the loan will be captured. The rate at which they are supposed to make interest will also be known here. Current liabilities. On the other hand, it will capture all short-term obligations such as payables providing a further breakdown into trade and other payables, current tax and others clearly stated. Now this will aid financial statement interpretation, especially trade payables payment period. Lastly, we'll have expenses. The expenses listed in the income statement are bulked up. It is the notes that will give a proper breakdown with associated figures to enable proper interpretation of ratios to be calculated. So when you go into the income statement, you will have the cost of sales. You also have administrative and selling expenses. You might also have operational expenses listed as one figure in the income statement. But the notes is what is going to provide the breakdown, which will enable users to do whatever analysis that they deem fit to their needs.